This is my soul to yours, sparking thoughts and moments in life's eternal flame. I went to hell and back and externalized my internal pain, burnt by ego and what my life should be with no purpose gained. I realized if I die, the sphere will still spin. The sun will still come up and you can still hear this song, which helped me clear some fear from within. Did Ed Sheeran plagiarise Sammy Switch? So Ed Sheeran, the multi-millionaire singer-songwriter who for the last decade has been absolutely killing it in the charts all over the world, uh, he's been accused of plagiarism uh, for his 2017 song Shape of You, which I'm sure you all know. Uh, it was number one in 34 countries. It was the first song to get 2 billion downloads on Spotify. So, I mean, if you don't know the song, <laughs> I'm as out of touch as they come. Where the <laughs> where have you been? Yeah. But he's been accused of plagiarising the lyrics. Not only him, but his co-writers, Johnny McDade and Steve Mack, who wrote the song with him. They've been accused of plagiarising the lyrics by this guy who, you know, you know, all right, okay, appearances can be um, deceiving, right? But I'm going to call bullshit. It feels like over the last few years, this opportunism, uh, this ability to get your message out into the world, much like I'm doing right now, <laughs> To all the millions of you who are going to watch this. It, it does feel that this initially positive thing, this ability for anyone in the world to amplify their message potentially to millions of people around the globe, does have some drawbacks, some disadvantages. I think one of the big ones for me, one of the big disadvantages of, of this new dynamic is that it social media has given a platform, has given rise to a culture of envy and narcissism. Obviously, it is fantastic if a smaller artist now has a platform in which to alert people to the fact that their material, their art, has been plagiarised by an abusive media mogul or <laughs> a, a, an artist that's just more successful than them. However, this ability to amplify our message is something that narcissists and envious people in general are going to latch on to straight away and obviously have. Um, and I think this is the case with this story. I think let, Let's have a look at the details of this story and uh, you can make your own mind up, but, you know... Yeah. Ed Sheeran, Johnny McDade and co-writer Steve Mack have been accused of taking particular lines and phrases for the song Shape of You from a track called Oh Why by an artist called Sammy Switch. Particular lines and phrases. Okay. In written evidence, McDade said he could not recall ever hearing Oh Why in any way and was unaware of Sammy Switch before the legal case began. I don't, I don't know if he knows what he's just done, but telling a narcissist that you've never even heard of them, just dismissing them like that, ah, oh, that's, that's a headshot. That's, you just killed the guy. And uh, well done, you stabbed him in his stone-cold little heart. Look, and I know this isn't any evidence so far, but just, just, just look at the guy. I mean, he, he looks shifty, doesn't he? There's like a, there's like a, I don't know, some, something not quite right. Is that his lawyer? He looks like a dealer. Well, at least he's got post-its. He's come prepared. I'm sorry, I digress. I, you know, that's just my opinion. We all form opinions. Look at lovely little Ed Sheeran, harmless. Look at that guy. Also harmless? As harmless as this guy? Come on. Anyway, as I said, looks can be deceiving. Let's get to the hard, solid evidence. 
OY was written by Ross O'Donoghue and Sammy Switch under his real name, Sammy Chokri, in 2015. The pair claim that Sheeran stole their hook for the post-chorus of Shape of You, changing the lyrics to OI, OI, OI. Yeah, so those certain lines and phrases are actually one line and one phrase. OI, OI, OI. Now, I don't want to mischaracterize the claim. It could be flagrant plagiarism still, of course, if that is a really important part of the song. And it's exactly the same as the song written by Sammy Switch, well, written by him and his mate. Then, yeah, sure, this could still stand up. Now, obviously, I want to avoid demonetization on this video. Don't know if that's going to be possible, but let's have a look at the clips and I'll have to change the sound a little bit so that I don't get demonetized. But I probably will still get demonetized, so whatever. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link to this song and video in the description and I encourage people to 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 watch the video but you know you might want to wear a pair of sunglasses uh, so that you don't get blinded by the cringe it really is the the work of a narcissist like it's just I mean just go and watch it it's just like I'm an angel uh, all this bad stuff's happening in the world and why can't people be peaceful like me? It's like, God, go away. <laughs> it's like 30 years ago, people knew that Michael Jackson was a bit cringy with <laughs> Earth Song. <laughs> what, the fuck? what the fuck is this? And in a blinded crying rage, he stepped out to the street, looked out to the sky and raised his voice to the top of his lungs and screamed, Why God? Oh, why is there so much suffering in this life, God? He took to the floor, began hitting the gear till his knuckles bled. Why? Why, God? This guy has done all he can to save humanity. Why won't you listen to me? Joking aside, it, it genuinely bothers me that the, the this guy, that Sammy Switch, uh, has the balls, has the gall to go up against Ed Sheeran. Like I said at the beginning of the video, of course it's great when smaller artists are getting trampled on and genuinely having their work stolen by bigger artists and, and, and media companies that are just abusing their power. But this clearly isn't the case here. Go and watch the two videos. One is a brilliant video uh, for a start <laughs> it's a really cool video um the shape of you by ed sheeran it's a cool video it's a catchy song it's well written it's extremely popular nobody loves the song that sammy switch made because it's just not as good right it just doesn't it's just not as good a song and that objective reality is really difficult for narcissists to take. And he is that. I don't care what anyone else has to say about this. Sammy Switch, I can see it in his dead eyes. He's a narcissist, right? He believes that uh, he's attributing uh, the success of a musical superstar to stealing OI from one of his terrible songs. I, I genuinely started reading this story today and I, I wanted to be objective about it. You know, as I'm not an Ed Sheeran fan particularly and I wanted to give the other guy a chance because I've been seeing over the last few years lots of these royalty claims um, from smaller artists against bigger artists. Some, some of them are fair, some of them are not so fair. And, you know, I, I went into this story with an open mind and... I, I was just disgusted. I was going to make uh, fun of Ed Sheeran a bit in this video, but I can't even do... I can't bring myself to make fun of him when it's just so obvious that he is in the right and this other guy is... Uh, is just a, a loser. Like, uh, what else can I say? I, I'm not... I've lost all objectivity that I had at the beginning. You know, um... 
I really hope Ed Sheeran wins this one, and I really hope the other guy just disappears into anonymity. Sorry, it's just what I think. Let me know in the comments.